What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves a banger of a video today. As you guys can see on the screen, we got ourselves a heavy meta team right here. So we're going to be hopping on to that rank with Double Ladder and trying to get some wins with it. We got Galarian Moltres, Tapu Fini, Landers, Heatran, Roboom, and the one and only Toga tomorrow. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out all across this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. But rock Rocking out in our front spot, top left corner, we're going to get started with Berserk Moltres. Thing is an absolute beast, one of the top tier Pokemon in this meta. With a weakness policy, Berserk has its ability, so when it goes below half health, it gets that free special attack boost. We got Hurricane for Sab, Fiery Wrath for Sab, Nasty Plot to set up that special attack boost and protect it as their coverage move. Top of Finny right next to it over there with the Misty Surge and that Weaky Berry. Normal move set for that thing, Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Calm Mind to set up and then protect. Beyond the face cam, Heatran, nice little fire steel type, Heat Wave, Earth Power, Taunt, Protect with that Flash Fire and that Shuka Berry for ground moves. Right next to him, we got our Intimidate Pokemon Landris with that Assault Vest. I absolutely love this uh, Landris set. With the Assault Vest, I feel like that's the best one. I like it better than the Choice Scarf one. This one just rocks out. We got EQ and Fly for Stab. Rock Tomb can actually trigger Weakness Policy. I haven't tried out this team yet, but I just got, saw it online. I was like, yo, I gotta try this one out. But I believe Rock Tomb will just proc that Weakness Policy, and Moltres can absolutely roll out. And then we got U-Turn to swap out and potentially get another Intimidate in the battle. Roll Boom in the bottom left with Fake Out, Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, and High Horsepower holding that Miracle Seed. And then Toga Tomorrow is another Fake Out Pokemon and a Pester Pokemon with Zing Zap, Nuzzle, Volt Switch, and Fake Out. We can also trigger Weakness Policy with that Pokemon as well. But guys, you want to use this team for, for yourself? Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and I kind of feel like a little hypocrite right now, considering I'm using like a full-blown meta team, and I'm always dissing on it, but you know what they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's the saying, right? Yeah. But, or, or like, if it's winning, like, get with it, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those sayings, but meta teams really rock out. They really do, but the, it, it's definitely tons of fun to not use the meta, considering you're always using the meta if you want to win. But we're hopping into our first battle. This guy has a pretty cool team right here with Doug Trio. You never see this boy across the rank double ladder. And he has Spectrary, Dust Clops, uh, Glaciary as well as alongside of uh, Sylveon. I kind of want to lead the Galarian Moltres. And potentially just dump on what's it called. I could just zing zap and proc policy, right? I mean, let me see speeds first. What's your speed? 162, so you should be fashioning Galarian Moltres. 145, yeah. And what is Lando? Lando is not faster than Moltres. We couldn't really proc policy with that. Can I go Togi? Which I probably am going to go Togi. He has uh, Regilecki too. Um, which I would rather dump on besides it, the Dust Cops if he does bring that. I think Lando's got to come out here. Lando. Actually, go uh, Rillaboom. And Tapu? Or Lando and Tapu? I mean, he has a lot of special attackers, so... I don't think we need Lando. I really don't, don't think we need Lando. The only physical is probably Doug Trio, which might not even be physical, but I think it is physical because it's probably won't well, EQ and all that good stuff. But let's get after it. Our last battle, if you guys haven't checked that one out, we rocked out, went 3-0 with the Porygon Z team. Actually, watch this one first. Watch this video first, and then if you're feeling like you need a little bit more genes in your life, scroll over that one, show some love over there. It's definitely a good video. It's definitely popping off, but yo, shiny Doug Trio with the nose? It's kind of matching the Sylveon. I like it. I like it a lot. But he can just ground me up. But only my token tomorrow. We are Sash, so I still think we just go in here. Start boosting speed. Um, who do I get after? I think Sylveon poses such a big threat. So I kind of want you out of here. Good Zing Zap here. I don't like I want to. Could Volt Switch out. I could Fake out. What are you going to do, Kind Sir? What the R are you going to do? I don't want to leave myself paralyzed. That's a problem. I said we, we just roll out normally. We fake out on the Sylveon side because I don't see Sylveon Dynamax. I see Sylveon more so just rolling maybe into a Hyper Voice or something like that and Doug Trio being the one with Dynamax. But I wonder what Doug Trio does. I wonder what he does. He's ground. He's just ground type, right? Is he rock? He might be ground and rock. But I, I know he's ground. 100%. I'm thinking he's just ground. I don't think he's rock. Kind of should know that. But I maybe should have just Volt Switched out and got him Rollboom and just grass the guy and took that thing out. Let's see what he does. Is he going to Dynamax him? He is. Doug Trio is getting the Dynamax, though. Unless it's the Sylveon. I I mean, you don't really see a lot of Sylveons unless it's like a last ditch effort. So I think it's Doug Trio. Let's see. It is the Sylves. It's the Sylves, man. This thing's coming out. It's getting after it. We should be able to outspeed it, especially if we get off our Max Airstream. There's no way you're going for Max Airstream. 
Kogi Wogi over here is going to go for that fake out. But Dux Trio is protecting. That's, that's a fine turn by me. That's a fine turn. You can waste your protect. Mwah, get a little fake out. Should have nuzzle buzzled it up. And here comes my airstream. So we're definitely going to be able to outspeed next turn. Let's see how much damage we do. Not too much. Not too much at all. Any proc policy for me? Can you do it? Just help me out here. It was a speed boost. Definitely very big. And here goes a starfall popping off on me. Leave me alone. I'm going to go after Moltres. going to proc my policy. Thank you very much. Okay, so we outspeed here. Um, He might guard. Do I think he's going to guard? Maybe. Possibly. Very possible. 100% outspeed. I think I swap Togi here. We're going to get a Berserk boost too, so we're plus three on the board. That's pretty fantastic. But I think I just get it after this thing. And we just boost our speed again. I might du I want to double up, but at the same time, I don't want to. Definitely want to Volt Switch out. But, I mean, we'll go for it. I should have probably just hard swapped. Considering if we take out, he's gonna go for an ally switch, you buttery biscuit. That was pretty smart by him. But we should be able to eat up another Starfall. I knew I should have hard swapped there. But Dux Trio should go down here unless it's uh, Sash, which it could be Sash. I can definitely see it happening. It is Sash, okay. But what you mean? What you mean? Big old ally switch. I did not notice seeing Rock's ally switch. Our speed's getting boosted. Again, yeah, we should be able to eat up. Actually, we probably won't eat up another Starfall. It has the terrain. That was big plays by him. That was huge plays by him. Moltres is dead. Actually, it did more than half. Mm. I thought we were still in the green a little bit, but that's why I berserk. Uh, but yo, an ally switch coming in hot? That's huge. Alright, we gotta nuzzle this thing. We're gonna nuzzle this Sylveon. We're gonna get rolling with this thing. E, that's tough news. Uh, do I get out Finny? Or Real Boom can just come in here for a grassy glide. I kind of think that's the play. I kind of think that's the play. We take out Duck Trio, we nuzzle up on the Sylveon, and we kind of start rolling out with that. We just start nuzzle pestering. I think that's our last option here. But huge play by the Duck Trio. Like, I'm a fan of that. I love seeing like Pokemon like Duck Trio, like some something that like nobody really sees coming, coming up with a big play. Like that ally switch has a huge chance of him winning the game. I can definitely see a potential another protect. But I'm still gonna post a threat over here and I'm just gonna nuzzle up over on you. Let's do that. Let's get that buzzing. Come on, come on, come on, man. Just protect, yeah. Like I said, I saw that coming, but I still need to need to pose that threat over there. Get that nuzzle up here. Go ahead, paralyze for a turn. Be paralyzed for your final turn. That'd be huge. That would, that would bring us right back in this game. Whack. Whack. He's gonna change turn again. And Robin eats. Okay, Robin eats. And the speed pack. He's, he has quick attack. He definitely has quick attack rolling. Um, okay. Definitely has quick attack. Gotta watch out for that. I mean, he's slower, though. He's pretty slow. I can't fake out, though, because I didn't use it yet. And then do I Volt Switch out? Do I get my fake out again next turn? I think that's the play. I think that's the play. There's no way you ally switch. There's not a chance you ally switch. Fake out comes out here. But it fails. Oh, my God. I thought we can use it again. I thought we can use it again. Volt Switch comes through. That would have been a huge turn to use Grassy Glide. That would have been a huge turn. Get off Vinny. Vinny's coming out here. Alright, that's fair. Thing was paralyzed. It was definitely going for that quick attack. We need to go for a high horse ride. Yo, chill on me. Vinny eats. Do I calm mind here? That's a real question. Do I calm mind? That was a dumb play by me. What am I doing? What is Jeans doing? But come on, but come on. But at the same time, I really don't want to. If I'm going for a muddy water, I'd rather just try to drop a big old wood hammer on this thing. On you. Then just muddy water across. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Be paralyzed again. Do me a favor. Mm, this one's not looking good for us, ladies and gents. Not looking good. It was at first. At first, and then the ally switch from the Duck Trio kind of came out here and sell. I think Sludge Wave's gonna pop. This thing outspeeds everybody. That's that's gonna be game. That's it. That's gonna start finishing this one up. I just go in and start finishing this thing up. Is this thing policy? This thing was policy the whole time. So this was his little trick he wanted to do. That was his little trick he wanted to do. You crazy dude. You crazy man. There's a muddy water. It's, who avoids it? Duck Trio avoid it. Who avoided it? 
What you mean? Right, I can fake it out next turn. But that's game. Policy proc. It's over. It is over. We get clean swept by Doug Trio for first battle. That is rough. Actually, we're not getting swept. Token tomorrow is coming out here clutching one up for us. Actually, you guys already know. We can fake it out and kill it. I'm just going to run this one. I'm just going to run this one. Man, rough battle for us. But, yo, pretty cool that this dude's rocking out with Doug Trio. And he dominated. And he absolutely slayed out. I thought we had that win once we got that policy triggered. I was like, okay, we'll outspeed Sylveon. We'll roll out here, kill it. This thing drops an ally switch and clutches it up for him. GG. We got one one. We can hop to our second battle and look for our first win. Let's get it, guys. Looking for our first win. This guy is rocking out with a very strong team. Trick Room with Dust Cops. He has the Chlorophyll Venusaur Torkoal combo. That is absolutely amazing. Alongside with Incineroar, Glacier for the Trick Room, and Dragapult as just an all around Pokemon that can do basically anything. One of the top tier Pokemon in this game. Um, who should I lead? How should I go out after this? Um, I'll let the trigger weakness policy. I mean, that would, that would be the play. Moltres into Togen tomorrow. I really do like that play. But I can Volt Switch on it if I have to. That's only if, he, if he's going to get after a Trick Room. But actually, I could just go here. Start pesting around. Do we have Heat Train? We have Heat Train right here. We can taunt. We can taunt all day. Right, he, he's rocking taunt, I believe. Let's see. This is rocking taunt, which is great to see. Um, I think Moltres gotta come in here, right? And Finny. Moltres and Finny seem like the play. But I don't think we. The Intimidate doesn't really do too too much here. I think the Moltres and the Finny really do bring a lot to the table here. Because Finny can cover that Dragapult, the Torkoal, and the. What's it called? And the Incineroar, and then the Moltres can cover the Dust Cops and the and the Venusaur, and that just leaves out, you know, who Glacier. But then Heatran can cover that as well, especially if he if he plays Drought. He plays Drought, we can thrive. With it. We can totally thrive with it. But I think this one's gonna be a close battle. Hopefully, hopefully we can just step up to the plate and absolutely slap out, get rolling here. But I've been actually playing a lot of uh, Warzone. Warzone's been so much fun, Call of Duty Warzone, especially with the new Cold War update. That's my chill game. Like after I get done recording, all that good stuff, doing YouTube work, I hop over to that, have some fun with that, we get rolling. But okay, um, here's a problem. We got a huge problem here. Big old problem. I forgot to list this one off for list, and this is a huge, huge, huge thing right here. This is huge. I'm gonna weakness policy onto the pole chief. Not to nuzzle that thing, obviously. Do I nuzzle that thing? I th I, th I feel like I have to. I think I have to. I might taunt that thing this turn. We are gonna nuzzle this thing. I think that's the play. We have to nuzzle this. We have to start nuzzle, pestering, slowing that thing down. You're gonna policy proc. That's obvious. The reason I wasn't gonna nuzzle is because I was gonna try to maybe get a burn on it, but chances are we're not gonna get the burn, so I'd rather just go straight for the nuzzle. But dude, uh, Dragapult, Dragapult, Dragapult. Such a good combo. He could have his glade. I, I thought it would have been Glacier with the weakest policy over the Dragapult. Oh, here comes Shadow Sneak. Obviously, we see that coming all day. We should be able to nuzzle out. Actually, nuzzle won't outspeed that thing. But we are sad, so we're definitely going to get off a nuzzle no matter what. See what he does. Make a move. He max Geyser. Okay. He's Geyser. We might be able to eat that up. Let's see. What you got, Heatran? No, we don't. We don't. I was going to say maybe. With the. Because uh, it wasn't sad. But Heatran just goes down. We waste a turn there. Um, we're going to nuzzle, and then I'm going to get out Glare and Moltres and Dynamax. We can potentially outspeed that. Well, I think we outspeed that thing now. There's a big old paralyze on you. Get out of my face. We don't like you. Let's get out Moltres. Dynamax this thing. If he wants a proc policy, that's fine. I'm just going to start dropping defense. We might ally switch. That's an option. But definitely Dynamax and into the darkness. Onto the pulled slot. And then do I just nuzzle or do I... I think I just nuzzle the, the dust clops. I, th I said we just start paralyzing the whole squad. I just start pestering them. That's why, like, back in, like, I think it was, like, season three, I absolutely fell in love. It was, like, a Durant. It was Durant and, like, Togan and Mario team. And I thrived with it. Like, I went on my highest win streak of, like, 15, 16 on stream. I was absolutely buzzing with it. Like, I would just pester around, nuzzle the whole team. Dynamax Durant with his ability. What was his ability? I forget what it was. It was, like, a strong ability that makes him hit harder, but miss more. But when you Dynamax, you can't. It doesn't do anything. Fine. Here comes a nuzzle. 
That's totally fine. We're gonna waste a turn with the guard. He might ally switch next turn, to be fair, but we do get that off, which is huge. Dark Knight's gonna pop. Um, I think we just Volt Switch out now. I think that's a fair play to make. It's just a Volt Switch out. He's gonna Trick Room. What you mean? Dude, Trick Rooms. Just huge. I'm still gonna go for this. I'll go on to you. I am gonna Volt Switch out. Just so I have Token Mars pick out for later and I can get out, uh, what's it called? He's gonna Night Shade me. It's a fair play. Dragon Bolt's paralyzed. Let's go. Let's rock it there. Huge pesters. Darkness comes out. Can Darkness take out? I feel like it, we should be able to take this thing out. We don't, but Volt Switch is coming out here. And I'm hoping. Just hoping. I really am just hoping that this Volt Switch can KO it. Man! What you mean? <laughs> we don't get it. This dang game. Dang Togo tomorrow. Let's get out Finny here. Um, I might just protect the Finny here. Or do I, I think I just dropped Muddy Water. I could water and then just, uh, his policy, which is totally scary. Yeah, I think I just, uh, let's just go into a Muddy Water and get after that, uh, get after this slot. Or I could calm up. Nah, I'd rather Muddy Water. I, I need to start getting Pokemon out of here. Come on, what you got? That's cost Paralyzed. Sir, yes, sir. Oh my! Oh, whoa! Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. What you mean we missed the Dragapult, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Yo, this match is a total fluke, man. Just paralyzes out the buns, and then we miss the one Pokemon I want to hit. Let's cop drops. It's fair. The fair play to make. <laughs> like, come on, man. I need to get Togi back out here too. Got to paralyze all that. Torkoal's gonna come out here. Torkoal is slowest. A little tough here. I think I might double protect. Just to waste out a turn of Trick Room. Dude, are you serious? How do we miss the Dragon Ball? That really, that really bothers me. There's two turns left in Trick Room. I'm gonna get slapped on by that. Uh. This is so tough, man. This is so tough. Do I calm mine? What do I do? I kind of want to just protect you. Let's get a muddy water. Did I get that off? Did I get that off? Protecting the Moltres. You know the eruption's coming, and I'm hoping Finny can be able to eat it up. Heat wave coming out here. That's fine. We, we block our Moltres, which I really, really like. I wonder what uh, what's called is actually doing. Dragon Bolt, paralyzing on Phantom Force. I mean, that's fine. We just gotta do damage onto this uh, Twiggle. Did we get off that? Uh, did we get off the Muddy Water. We did. It's huge. Dragon Bolt avoids it. Dude, this game is straight trash. What is like? What is going on here? I really don't understand. Like, I have to swap into Togi. Trigger our sash. Not to go for a fake out. Like I just don't understand. I really don't understand this game, man. I really don't. And it bothers me. It really does bother me. That we're missing muddy waters like this. E wave comes out. He's gonna trigger sash. Go after top of Finny with that phantom force, please. Or miss or something. Be paralyzed. It's like my last option here. Okay, Finny E. Oh my. Oh my lord. Ugh! Ugh! Moltres, get out of here. Alright. Here's the play. We still got Togi up in here. There's no trick room. Make out Torkoal. And we get after this with a Fiery Wrath. Fair play to me. Dragon Pulse should be dead for five turns already. I'm real sick of this. Here comes Fake Out. Mwah. Moltres outspeeds him. We know this. Fiery Red. Yeet. Let's get it. Good work. Good work. Finally, we get rid of the Dragapult. I think we should have had this match in the bag. Torkoal flinches. Mist disappears. He's got to have his final mind as Venusaur. And that is definitely scary. 
That is definitely scary, because I don't think you can hurricane in drought. Right? I don't think you can hurricane in drought. And it's incinerable. I like that. I like that. I like that more so than I like the, the Venusaur, but... I mean, he's dropping physical attack. This is just tough news, man. And he's definitely getting after me. I'm gonna try to do this. I protect? No, I gotta go for a fiery wrath. Start doing damage. I know I outspeed both. And I need to get rid of this torque. In order to fix out my togi. Whack. Whack. Get after his fiery wrath. Yeet. We need a crit on that torque. We did need a crit. Or we need him to miss his heat wave. Of course, he lands. He doesn't miss. Berserk popping. Okay. Trying to think. Trying to think. Is there anything I can do here? I gotta go for another Fiery Wrath. I have to. Bro, dude, we would've won this game. We would've 100% won this game, man. We need to eat up the shot or have the same miss. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Flutter Blitz comes in. That's game. Oh my god, bro. Come on, man. Yo. Yo, you guys know. You guys know. We should have won that game. That's a fact. That's a straight fact right there. We're now sitting 0-2. We can hop into our third and final battle and at least try to get one win for this video. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. We need a win here. We need a win. First battle didn't really didn't really go too well. Duck Trio gave us whoopings. Second battle, not my fault. Can't do anything about RNG. We definitely played decently well. Enough to win that game. If RNG was on our side, we'd win that game easily. But third battle, we got this one. We got this one. This guy's got Cartana, Reggie Draco, Tailwind User with the Tornado. He's got Nihilego. I think he's a scary little jellyfish. Urshifu, an absolute beast, and Intimidate and Sinor. Um, hmm. I feel like Lander is definitely gonna come out here considering he has a... Uh, Decent amount of physical attackers here. Uh, ch -ch -ch do I lead Lando? I feel like I lead Lando. I feel like Lando is just a solid lead. I mean, it's an hit Lego that can dump on my Moltres. Don't really like that. Could bring in Tapu Fini. I could taunt, which is actually really, really nice with this Pokemon right here with Heatran. Uh, la 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 la. Ch -ch -ch. I don't want to. I don't want to. So he doesn't get off Tailwind. Tailwind kind of thrives. Or, 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 I can lead Hoagie. And just pester, so then Tailwind won't work. Go Moltres, and then in the final spot, actually, be. Hmm. You know, I, 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 I'm liking this. I'm liking this. And then Finny? Yeah, Finny. Finny for sure. Finny's just too good. Covers that Urshfu, the Jellyfish, the Instant War. It just does work, and that Reggie Draco. Just does absolute work. Alright, so the thing is here. His dragon, if he goes for a dragon energy, goes for maybe a tailwind into a dragon energy, I can just fake out the Reggie Draco and Wolf. But I do have Togo tomorrow out first turn. That's totally fine by me. Who are you gonna go with? Who's your lead? You can go in Cinnamon and Jelly Belly Boy. Okay. That's fair. Heavy EQ can pop out here. Heavy, heavy EQ can pop out here. And I can just uh, fake out onto the. What's it called? The Incineroar. Because we are gonna outspeed it. I can drop a heavy, heavy EQ here. But it, it, that's, that's my problem here. Or I can just protect my... Uh, actually, I do not have protect. I mean, it's coming out all around. Heavy, heavy EQ. Heavy, heavy EQ. Togi, I'm counting on you here. We're gonna, we're gonna trigger your focus action. We're gonna trigger your focus action. Now Lego's gonna protect. That was, that was smart. Does he double protect? He does not double protect. Okay. I was gonna say. Would've been rough if he double protects. EQ's gonna pop. I think he's gonna protect Togo tomorrow miss it somehow. Dodge it or something. <laughs> Togo tomorrow's gonna take they're all taking big damage here. Togo tomorrow's gonna trigger Sash. And I can just start nuzzling, which I am going to nuzzle up onto the uh the what's it called? The Nihil Lego. I really don't feel like dealing with it. I'm just gonna drop another EQ. I think this is the fight here. Like, Togo tomorrow is gonna go down. I'll take out my Togo tomorrow. If anyone's taking out Togi, it's me. It is me. And then I could potentially you turn out another turn or next turn. Because Incineroar is gonna drop here. And he, I, I can see him swapping out Incineroar. Hands down. And maybe if he has Tornado, throwing that in. Let's see. Oh, which on the Lego? Okay. He's gonna go into this Pokemon's gonna get paralyzed. Parton. That's actually huge. Slow that, slow that buttery biscuit down. I actually really like that. Actually, really like that. And we can take out Incineroar and Togi at the same time. 
That's fair. That's a fair. That's a fair turn. I kind of, I kind of, I'm with it. I'm with it. And now I'm gonna go to U-turn out of here. And I get out. What's it called here? I get out. Do I get out Moltres? I think Moltres gotta come out of here. But yeah, Cartana's just. He's too much. He's too much. I mean, I definitely double up in the Cartana slot. That is, that is a pretty decent threat. You turn out, get out, uh, what's it called? Or, or I can just. Yeah, you turn out here. I can pose this big threat and start taking speed of. Right, right, that's gotta be play. That's gotta be play. This, again, Cartana poses a threat, but at the same, is he gonna go for a grass move? Cause that that would lose me the match. But then I just get uh, what's it called right back out here. Landers for that intimidate drop, which is huge on both these Pokemon. Playing Moltres, getting a Dynamax move. This is definitely our big heart and soul Pokemon. We'll use him a lot for dying action. Right, let's see what he does. See what the plan is. But this for close combat. B E B E. Very very well. Urshifu's gonna go down unless it's sashed. But then we we outspeed a lot here. I probably should have U-turn into him. Okay, it's not sashed. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, I probably should have put the U-turn into him just in case he was sashed. We're gonna start getting speed boost out here. Uh, the real question is, is he going to go into a what's it called? That would be a problem. Is he going to go into a leaf form? Or something along those lines? Because if he does, that's going to do mean damage on my top of Finny. And I really do want my Finny, but I feel like we can thrive here. Does he still have a Dynamax? Who did he leave? I, feel like, I think he still has a Dynamax. We took out the Urshfu. Did we take out anybody else? No. Oh yeah, we took out Instant Aurora. So it's Kartana, and this next Pokemon is going to be a Dynamax Pokemon. But yeah, miss or paralyze, please. That would be absolutely wonderful. Be paralyzed, something like that. <laughs> this game's RNG is whack today. I'll admit it. It's on our side right now for this battle so far. But last battle, it evened out. It totally evened out. Oh, and it's no Lego. Okay, so he's got a Dynamax one of them. It's fair. I got just muddy water here. And then I get rid of. I gotta get rid of you. Cartana's got to go. Cartana's got to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And go ahead and hello. Go. Drop a rock on me. I want you to, buddy. Did Moltres take any damage yet? I don't think he did. Oh, he did. Okay. Then please don't drop a rock on me. He does not have D-Max. He does not D-Max. And this KOs. Pretty, pretty nice here. And I wonder what he's trying to do. Is he, he wants to get off a of Meteor Beam. That is exactly what he wants to do. He wants to get off a of Meteor Beam. But I, th I think by that time, it's going to be a little too late here. Meteor Beam's coming out here. Yeah, obviously. He wants to get off that Meteor Beam. And he wants to get boosted out of the box. And you miss. Don't we still have Togi? No, Togi died. We killed him. We killed him off. The Meteor Beam comes out. That's going to KO him. The fact. Okay, so that so that picks up the KO. We have a muddy water stab coming in here. How much damage can we do to this thing? And then we have two Pokemon with stab super effective moves on this thing. But if we can bring this down thing down decently enough, we should be able to win this game. Muddy water finally connects today. Finally does. And we get some big damage on. Okay, so it's huge. That's, that's huge. We get Lando. But the thing is, I think both my Pokemon outspeed this thing all day. Actually, no. Only, uh, what's called shit. And he actually doesn't. None of my Pokemon do outspeed this thing, which is rough. We need to KO it right here, right now. Muddy Water. Or I could read the Protect. I think I Protect on... Because who, who are you going to go after? That's the real question. Who are you going to go after? Do I Protect the Finny? This could be, like, devastating play right here. I have to Protect the Finny here. No way you go after land, though. We're gonna go for a poison move potentially on to my uh onto my Finny. Huh? What are, you, what are you gonna do here, pup? But the thing is, if he rolls out here, takes out my Lando, that's game over. That's GG in a can. He's plus two right now. He's plus two on the board. So we need him to go after the Finny. Coming down to the wire, ladies and gents. I told you we have a banger of a video today, and I wasn't lying. 
But again, if he goes after Finney, it's in the can, we win this game. Go after Finney, please. Please, and thank you. That's gotta be Finney. That's gotta be Finney. You're not going rock on my Lando. Fair. That's fair. You want to do that to me? So that's fine. That's fine. That's what I thought you were going to do turn one. That's what I thought you were going to do turn one. Your boys struggled today. Your boys struggled today. We had a very strong team. Didn't play too well, but we had some fun at least. Alright guys, let me know in the comment section down below for that last play of that last battle. Should I have protected or not? Because I feel like if I didn't protect and went into a Muddy Water and EQ... Nihilego outspeeds, he takes out one of my Pokemon, and then the move doesn't KO. And then, whatever move I hit will not KO the Nihilego, and then he just dumpsters on my next turn. So my, my plan was to protect the Finny. If he hits the Finny, Finny eats, EQ comes out, and then we double move into it, and then we win the game. That was my plan. I thought that was going to work, and of course, he goes on the other side of what I was thinking. But seriously, let me know in the comment section down below. We went 0 for 3 today. Um, I, I, this team is very, very strong. It's very strong. They didn't play too, too well, especially like Doug Chiro got us in that first one. The second battle, you guys already know about that battle. Don't, don't you dare hold that against me, Ricky Bobby. You guys already know that one. If you guys know, know that movie quote, you guys rock. But, and then that third battle, you guys saw what happened at the end there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.